I don't think by any means that Donegal have completely faded away or, or a, a gone force within the game. I think that coming up against Mayo, um, there's obviously we know there's a bit of history between the two teams this past number of years. Um, <clears throat> it's been sort of up and down between the two of them. And uh, I would see Mayo as going in as favourites for that one there. I, I just think that they're they're in a better place. You see, we think that there's... They've learned a bit more about themselves and they're, they're more of a potent force and harder to, to counteract and I think the return of Tom Parsons to midfield uh, has been a huge boost to them in that he's probably added more of a defensive uh, aspect to his game which he didn't have whenever he first started out a number of years ago but the big thing is it's obviously released Aidan O'Shea to full forward and it now allows them to mix their game. They can go direct to him in the full forward lane and he has um, Killian O'Connor and Jason Doherty feeding off him. Or they can play the powerful running game which the, we've all become accustomed to seeing this past number of years with Lee Keegan and Colin Boyle bombing forward from defence. So I think it just makes them very hard to plot against now. Uh, you don't know whether you should be dropping men back. If you drop men back, Obviously, you can try and pick up breaks around Aidan O'Shea, but then you're also inviting them onto them. So I think they're definitely a more potent force this year. They haven't been overly tested as of yet, but from their point of view, they can only beat what's been put in front of them. And for me, they've been extremely impressive. GAA. Be there. All the way.